I don't really want to say much, but the, the one thing about it is, who, who would think to write a book of Teg Woody as a fellow that's written books on rugby and there's been stories told about me and all that, but Russell has seen me two or three times and I just said to him, go for it, because Teg Woody needs history, Teg Woody needs people and we need recognition and uh, you know we've done terribly well Jim here as Prime Minister tried to help us a hell of a lot the Chief Brother all <laughs> uh, now we've probably got to look to more politicians and all those sort of things but no it's been great to be here and uh, to you Russell I just say congratulations on the idea and the thought and the inspiration of the years that you've put into this. And it's not just about rugby, it's not just about Teak Woody, it's not just about politicians, it's not. It, it's about the whole community. And uh, I just think it's marvellous because Teak Woody is a great place. We bought a, we were going to retire at uh, over at a place called Papamara. <laughs> and we were there for, a, you know, we stayed the odd weekend, a week here and a week there, and then I said, I'm not going to retire here, I've got to go back to Dick Woody. So <laughs> that's what it's all about, and I'm still pleased that she made that decision because I don't mind it either. <laughs> so, but no, good to be here, and congratulations, Russell, because without you, this would never have been done, and uh, I think it's tremendous because. We need people like you to do keep records of what this great little town is about. And I'm one that gets around and I go to all little places and they all think they're the best little town in the world and you know, nothing beats Tick Woody because you always come home to here. Thank you.